All righty, a bit of magic today comes to young pages at Broward Health Medical Center. So not only did Captain Minnie make a visit, but the Children's Hospital also got a new tool in fighting the blues. Mm. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn takes us there. Some of the treatment I get in the hospital, like Benadryl and Tartal, it could sting when it goes through your IV or the needle, depending on how you want to say it. 11-year-old Ishmael Williams has sickle cell disease. I do know that my type is, it makes your blood the shape of a crescent moon. You know, like the crescent moons in the sky? It shapes it just like that, and it could clog your bloodstream. It's a grueling disease, and at times, it can require hospitalization. His doctor talked to us about what patients go through. It can affect the entire life. Can you imagine, instead of being at, uh, at school, they're here because they need help, they need um, medication to ease their pain. And patients can also feel tired and sometimes have trouble breathing. When I came in for, to the hospital, I had chest pain. Ishmael is just one of a few dozen pediatric patients at Broward Health who can't do some of the things kids normally would be doing, such as playing outside or even going to the movies. One, two, three! So Starlight Children's Foundation and Disney Cruise Line partnered with the Sala Foundation Children's Hospital at Broward Health Medical Center to bring some excitement to young patients. Being able to transform a hospital environment, which is typically stressful and sterile, um, into something positive and cheerful is amazing. Child life specialists there now have a theater on wheels. They can use it to have a movie night and as an aid for interaction. Things like this to give us a break just from whatever was going on with us is like phenomenal. Vicki, Ishmael's mom, welcomes this little escape. Yes, absolutely. He's planned to be discharged soon, but his mom is counting down the days to this summer when he's planned to get a bone marrow transplant from her. That could cure him of sickle cell disease forever. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.